Hello boaters, welcome to Narrowboat Journeys. I've just left my overnight mooring, which was near Bridge 50 on the Coventry Canal, and that's near a little village called Grendon. Today's plan is to travel a few miles to Polesworth and to moor up somewhere after there. Unfortunately, it's not the nicest weather again today, but it's not too bad, it could be much worse, so here we go. Over on the left there you can see there's a railway line that comes quite close to the canal. We'll be going under that in a few minutes time. And here we go, under the railway line. That's some party balloon of some sort floating in the canal there. I couldn't quite manage to fish it out. And here we are, approaching Polesworth now. There's a lot of new building going on. The place looks decidedly different to how I remember it 20 years ago. As you can see, there's lots of places you can moor up along here. There are some official visit visitor moorings a bit further on. I'll point them out when we get there. Now, the official visitor moorings in Polesworth are between this bridge, which is number 51, and the next bridge, which is 51C. Uh, but there are some other moorings a little bit further ahead, so I can show you that when we get there as well. This is probably the best spot to get to the shops. So if you moor up here, and then cross, turn right at the next bridge, and that'll lead you to the shops. There is a co-op, Lloyd's Pharmacy, Post Office, a few convenience stores and a few other sort of random shops as well. So it's it's useful place to stock up if you need stuff. There are no boaters facilities here though.
So this is where you would access the road. This is another popular mooring spot in Polesworth. There are mooring rings which you can moor up to, but space is quite limited here because beyond the mooring rings it just goes to like a concrete edge all the way along and you won't be able to hammer a spike in there, so it is quite limited, but it's a good spot. It's really quite pretty through here and beyond this point you can moor up again wherever you like.
One blot on the landscape, however, is the M42 motorway. Nothing we can do about that. On the other side of it, though, is a place called Pooley Country Park. Now, when I was here 20 years ago, this was just a wasteland on the right. And it, what it is, it's an old mining area and there's a lot of spoil heaps. And just on the other side of the motorway bridge here, I don't think we'll be able to see it. Um, it's covered in trees now anyway. There was a huge mound and it's, it's a spoil heap from the mining. And you could walk up to the top of that, and you still can. And there's a great view from the top. Um, well worth doing. I would moor up a bit after this point. When I was here 20 years ago, all of the trees on the right were just tiny little bushes. And it's all grown in and grown up now. It's, it's changed quite a bit. I don't think it was a country park back then. Uh, but it is fairly popular now. But it's a lovely place to moor up here. Once you get away from the motorway a little bit. But it's certainly worth a walk around the place. It's all wooded now and there's lakes. Um, very pleasant. As soon as I've got away from the motorway a bit, I'm going to find a place to moor up here for a day or two. The cats will love it. And there's metal piling and good mooring all the way. Well, this bit looks really nice. I think I'll moor up here. Perhaps it's just because the sun has come out. I don't know, but this looks like a lovely little spot to stop. Time to let the cats out, I think. Well, here we are. Thank you for watching. In the next trip, it's going to be quite a long one. I've got a whole got a journey through Tamworth and well out the other side of it. So please join me again for my next trip. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.